Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on rounding off. In mathematics, the term rounding off refers to the process where we give a good approximation to a given number instead of the exact number. So question one. Round off each of the following numbers to the nearest 10. So here we have the number 18. The solution. Since the number in the ones column is either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. So here's the ones column here, and you can see that is the number 8, which basically tells us that 18 is closer to 20 than it is to 10. So the answer is 20. So 18 can be rounded up to 20. We, we're saying that 20 is a good approximation to 18 to the nearest 10. The next one is 72. Since the number in the ones column is either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, we round down. So we can see that that's the number 2. So we round down, which means that what we're saying is that because of that 2, 72 is closer to 70 than it is to 80. Hence, to the nearest 10, we round down to 70. The next one, we have 45. Now, 45 is between 40 and 50. It's halfway between. Okay, so basically, what we're saying is, that's a 5 and we round up because see here when it was a 5 we rounded up so when it's in the middle we round up so we always round up in this case when it's just a 5 hence 45 to the nearest 10 is 50 question 2 Round off each of the following numbers to the nearest hundred. So when we give the answer, we have to have two zeros at the end. That's really what that means. We have to have two zeros at the end in the answer, that is, in the approximation. So if we look at 387, we can see that 387 is closer to 400 than it is to 300. So if you were to put that number on a number line, Okay, between 300 and 400, it will be a lot closer to 400. Hence, 387 to the nearest 100 is 400. The next one is 532. 532 is closer to 500 than it is to 600. So 532 to the nearest 100 is 500. 750. 750 is between 700 and 800. It's exactly halfway between. So when it's halfway between, we always round up in this case. So 750 to the nearest 100 is 800. The next one is 249. 249 is closer to 200 than it is to 300. It is just that little bit closer. Hence, 249 to the nearest 100 is 200. Question 3. Round off each of the following numbers to the nearest 1,000. What that means is that in the answer you've got to have at least three zeros at the end. So 3,479, that's what we're looking at. 3,479 is closer to 3,000 than it is to 4,000. So 3,479 rounded off to the nearest 1,000 is 3,000. 5,628, the solution. 5,628 is closer to 6,000 than it is to 5,000. So it is rounded off to 6,000. 8,500, 
8,500 is between 8,000 and 9,000. So when it's exactly in the middle, we round up. We always round up. So the rounding up gives us 9,000. And number D, 2,499. Now 2,499 is closer to 2,000 than it is to 3,000. So when we round down, we round down to 2,000. So this video has given us some ideas how to round up and how to round down to the nearest 10, the nearest 100 and to the nearest 1,000.